This is the quick set. At ito naman po ang web fake. Go to system. Reset configuration. We have a lot of options here. Anong mangyayari if we accidentally reset our Microtech router to no default configuration? Iba po talaga tong Microtech mga ka-IT sa karaniwang routers po natin. Usually, we always say to reset the router to default configuration. Di ba? Pero sa Microtech, merong option to reset to no default configuration. If we do that kung mga kaiti, hindi mo na mabuksan ang new Microtech router gamit ang IP address. Paano na ngayon yan? This is where the WENBOX come in handy para sa mga bagong Microtech users. Let's download the WENBOX. Punta lang po tayo sa microtech.com slash download. Piliin nyo kung 64-bit or 32-bit po. Depende sa inyong Windows operating system po. Naka 64-bit po ang na-install nyo or naka 32-bit. Para malaman mo kung 32-bit or 64-bit ang inyong operating system, punta lang po tayo dito sa this PC. Right-click po natin sa Properties. Sa System Type, dito mo makikita kung naka 64-bit or naka 32-bit po ang inyong operating system. Since naka 64-bit po ang OS ko, I will choose the 64-bit. Once downloaded na, simply open the WinBox, go to Neighbors, Dito, you will automatically see any connected Microtech devices. Kung wala ko yung makita, it means walang Microtech device na nakakonect. You can also click refresh to see new connected Microtech devices. At makikita din po natin dito ang MAC address. The IP address. Pero sa kasalukuyan, 0.0.0.0 pa po yan. At ito naman po yung identity or the host name, which naka-microtech pa po yan. Ito naman po yung firmware version, or yung iba tinatawag na software version. The microtech model, and the uptime. Dito po natin makikita kung gaano nakatagal, naka-open, or naka-run ang ating microtech router. To log into our microtech router, Simply connect lang po tayo dito sa MAC address, i-click lang po natin ito. By default, the username is admin. The password is blank sa ibang mga models. Pero sa akin, makikita sa sticker at the bottom of the Haplite router. By default din po mga kahit itong keep password, itong keep password and auto reconnect are all checked or enabled. Useful po ito para hindi ka na type ng type ng yung password, di ba? Once na gusto mong i-access ang yung Microtech router. And once ma-disconnect si Microtech router, mag-auto reconnect po ito. So hassle-free, di ba? After clicking connect mga kahit... You will see this prompt message. Now input the old password or the default password. And then, set your own new password. Maganda combination po ito ng uppercase, lowercase, numbers, letters, and symbols. And click change now for the changes to take effect. Take note that the upper left of the WinBox interface, you will see that we are logged in as admin at meron tayong makikitang MAC address. Because we are logged in using the MAC address. If na-access po natin ang haplite using the IP address, what we will see here is the IP address instead of the MAC address. Next to it is the host name. For now, it's Microtech. At itong WinBox. So, naka 64-bit yung aking operating system. Then, the firmware version and the architecture is MIPS or is MIPS or simple MIPS. Now, at the upper right, it's blank. We can add time and date po dito kung gusto pa natin. By right-clicking this area, select add time, add date. Now, you will see the time and date at the upper right section. You can also add memory usage, CPU, and the uptime. 
If you want to remove one or all of these processes, simply right click and select remove. As you can see, the uptime was removed. You can do the same mga kaiti sa iba pal mga processes. Now, which is better, the Winbox access or the browser access? For me mga kaiti, mas prefer ko yung Winbox access. Dahil kahit hindi the same subnet ang device mo sa Microtech router, you can still access your Microtech router. Dahil naka-base ko ito sa layer 2 or sa MAC address. So kahit hindi mo alam ang IP address ng yung Microtech router o kahit wala pa itong IP address, you can still access your Microtech router. Pero in terms of flexibility naman po mga kahiti, using the IP address would be the best option. So depende pa rin sa sitwasyon. Pero if you want simple configuration, yung parang plug and play setup lang ng inyong Microtech router, this is for you.